propose to do this by making a film that will be the most honest and true depiction of child abuse ever portrayed by telling my own story in a very real way. We're fighters for truth, justice, and the American way. A 1980s teenage heartthrob, Feldman became best known for his roles in movies like The Goonies, The Lost Boys, and Stand By Me. Keep me on TV! Sure! We'll be heroes! But along with the fame, Feldman says he learned firsthand about Hollywood's big secret, a secret he tried to reveal without naming names. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. And they're some of the richest, most powerful people in this business. And children aren't supposed to handle that sort of stuff. Humiliation. I know I've been through it. But that's all over now. Feldman has long claimed as young actors, he and fellow child star Corey Haim were molested by older men in the entertainment industry. Allegations he also wrote about in his 2013 memoir, Choreography. I've been living in fear and been living with this my entire life. But this morning, Feldman's latest proclamation drawing criticism from Haim's mother, Judy, who tells NBC News she wants her son's name left out of it, saying, quote, if he finally decides to release names and tell the world who they are, for the sake of more victims, I'll be 100% behind him. But if he's waiting to release the names in the movie, I don't support that. He doesn't need $10 million to do it. And Corey Feldman joins us now a lot. Corey, good morning. Good to see good you. Good morning, Matt. You reacted to that comment sitting here. I'll get to that in a second. This is very personal for you. Yes, it's it is. It's very emotional. It's something you've talked about for years. Let me start by asking you, how prevalent is what you're talking about in Hollywood today? I believe there's a lot of darkness in Hollywood right now. And I believe it's been there for quite some time. And as we've seen with the Harvey Weinstein scandal... It continues to unfold. New names come forward every day. Now there's names of uh, misconduct with Kevin Spacey, with this you know child actor who came forward today. It's going to continue unraveling. This is just the beginning. It's just the tip of the iceberg. So everything you're seeing is building up to what I believe is going to be a dam breaking open. So let me talk about this Corey's Truth effort. You want to raise $10 million. You yes. want to pr produce and direct this documentary. It's not a documentary. It's a I film. I stop you there. It is a film. I want to make a feature film, which is why we need the budget that we need. There's actors, there's scripts, there's special is it effects. going to involve real effects. people, real names of people active in Hollywood it right now? It will be a very true story. We will have every name that... Every, everybody that affected my life, I'm going to give the perspective that I can give what I viewed, what I experienced from a first-hand account. In, in all fairness, though, we've been down this road before with you, and you have promised Never. in the past to name names. Never. In your book, you said, you were, when you were talking about your book, you said you were going to blow the lid and off this is of why this. I'm doing this, because when I wrote my book, the publishers prevented me from writing the names well, That's what I meant by they we were down this road names. before. Yeah. We didn't get the names exactly. we were promised exactly. last time. Which is why I'm taking the matter into my own hands, and this is why I need America's support, I need the world's support, because I must make a film with no executives, no VPs, yeah, but why do you no $10 million? Dollars? Film students make movies for fractions well, that's a film student. We're talking about a theatrical release. We're talking about, I'm going to four-wall the theaters, I'm going to self-distribute, self-market, make the film, and hire a team of attorneys who are going to pr protect me and the film when everybody comes out. Today, you raised just released. under $200,000, correct? Okay. Isn't that about right? So it's going to take a long time to raise $10 million. We've got two months. And you've just told me that this is still prevalent in Hollywood, so... Yeah. Every day you wait, every day you try to raise money, mm. I would imagine you believe that children are being abused by pedophiles in Absolutely. Hollywood. Absolutely. So why are you sitting down talking to me? Why aren't you sitting down with the police right now? I've told the police. In fact, if anybody wants to go back to 1993 when I was interviewed by the Santa Barbara Police Department, I sat there and I gave them the names. They're on record. They have all of this information. But they were scanning Michael Jackson. All they cared about was trying to find something on Michael Jackson. Who you said, by the way, did not abuse Who you. Michael was innocent. And that was what the interview was about with the police in 1993. I told them, he is not that guy. And they said, well, maybe you just don't understand your friend. And I said, no, I know the difference between pedophiles and somebody who's not a pedophile because I've been molested. Here's the names. Go investigate. And let me push this forward. There are thousands of people in Hollywood who have this same information. 
Why is it all on me? Why is it if I don't release the names in the next two months, six months, or a year, I'm the bad guy. I'm the victim here. I'm the one who's been abused. I'm the one who's trying to come forward and do something about it. Well, there are, hold back. on, please. I'm sorry. There are thousands of people out there, Matt, who have this information. Any one of those child actors that went to the teenage soda pop clubs with me when I was a kid know who those people are and the people who ran it. Anybody can go back through history and look at the teen magazines and say, what was the name of that venue? They were all promoting and who ran that venue you've and said, who endorsed it. You've said you've had death threats yes, um, because you have this information yes. and have threatened to expose it. Another reason, I think, to go to police, that's a crime to threaten someone's life. I've gone to the police with that as well. And, 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 and what would be wrong with going to the police now again didn't work out in San Santa Barbara. There's a statute of limitations, Matt, in the state of California, which protects people. It's not that way in New York. It's that way only where the movie industry is, conveniently enough, in California. That's the seriousness of this. You cannot, because if I were to go to the police, I would be the one who's getting sued. Henceforth, I need a team of lawyers, and I need a team of security to be around me at all times to keep me safe so I can get this message done. Real, real I'm not playing around. It's serious stuff, and I bow. I will release every single name that I have any knowledge of, period. And nobody's going to stop me this time, as long as people support this. Corey Feldman. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank I you, sir. It. Thank it's you. Good to see you. We're back. God right bless. After these messages and your local news. Good